Hi Future Scientists, I am Adam and today we are exploring Newton's first law of motion, also known as the law of inertia. To truly grasp this law, we will first dive into what inertia means, what forces are and how the equilibrium rule comes into play. So what is inertia? Inertia is a property of matter that tends to resist any change in its motion. So, if an object is at rest, it stays at rest. If it's in motion, it stays in motion at the same exact velocity. When you are in a moving car, your body moves at the same speed as the car. If the car stops suddenly, your body lurches forward due to inertia, which resists the change in motion. Seat belts prevent us from being thrown forward. Ever pulled a tablecloth off without moving the items? The item's inertia keeps them at rest, resisting any change in their motion. Relationship between inertia and mass. An object's inertia depends on its mass. Greater the mass, greater the inertia. Smaller the mass, smaller the inertia. So heavier objects resist changes in motion more than lighter ones. There are two identical looking cubes on the floor. How can we tell which has more inertia? Gently push or slide both cubes across the floor. The cube that is harder to move, which means it requires more force to get moving, has more inertia, indicating greater mass. Forces and the equilibrium rule. Force is a push or pull acting on an object. It can cause an object to start moving, stop moving, or change its direction. The unit for force is Newton, symbol uppercase N in honor of Sir Isaac Newton. His force a scalar or a vector quantity. Pulling a wagon west with 10 Newtons is not the same as pulling it east with 10 Newtons. Applying force in different directions, even with the same magnitude, leads to different outcomes. A force is classified as a vector quantity because it requires both magnitude, strength of the force in newtons, and direction. Forces are classified as contact forces and non-contact forces. Contact forces arise when objects physically touch, such as a friction force between the skis and snow. Tension force is a contact force transmitted through a string or rope when it is pulled tight like the force in a rope holding a person washing windows. Applied force is a contact force exerted by one object on another, like a person pushing a carton to slide it across a floor. Non-contact forces act at a distance, like the force of gravity pulling apples toward the earth. Static equilibrium if mole pushes a wagon that is at rest in the yard with 50 newtons to the right and Albert pushes it with 50 newtons to the left, what is the net force on the wagon? So the net force equals plus 50 newtons plus negative 50 newtons because they are in opposite directions. So that equals zero newtons. It's written as sigma f equals zero newtons. The wagon was at rest and it continues to stay at rest because the forces are balanced. Here is the free body diagram for this example. As ion of mass 50 kilograms sits on a chair, the force of gravity pulls ion downwards. The support force from the chair, which is also called normal force because this force acts on a 90 degree angle to the surface, pushes her upwards. Since she is at rest, these two forces are equal and opposite. Sigma F equals zero Newtons. Here is a free body diagram for this example. So an object is in static equilibrium when it is at rest and continues to remain at rest. Dynamic equilibrium. As Isaac is biking at a constant velocity, which is constant speed on a straight level road, the bike exerts a forward thrust force. The friction from the moving parts of the bike and the friction between the road and the tires and the air resistance push him backwards. The forward force exactly balances the backward forces. So sigma F equals zero newtons. 
This does not mean Isaac comes to a standstill. It means that Isaac does not speed up, slow down or change direction. Instead, Isaac is a body in motion and he stays in motion at a constant velocity. So, an object is in dynamic equilibrium when it is moving at a constant velocity. Equilibrium Rule The equilibrium rule is a fundamental concept in physics that describes the conditions under which an object remains at rest or in uniform motion. Newton's First Law Newton's first law or the law of inertia states that an object at rest stays at rest and an object in motion stays in motion at a constant velocity unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. So mechanical equilibrium can be classified as static equilibrium and dynamic equilibrium. Static equilibrium is when objects are at rest and dynamic equilibrium is when objects are moving at a constant velocity. This is possible only when the net force equals zero newtons. Questions Question 1. What happens if Isaac is riding a skateboard and hits a pile of bricks with the front wheels? Due to his body's inertia, Isaac will keep moving forward and fly off the skateboard since the curb applies an unbalanced force only to stop the skateboard but there is no unbalanced force acting on Isaac. Question 2. A 10,000 kg airplane flying at a constant velocity has a forward thrust force of 8,000 newtons. How much air resistance does the plane experience? Since the airplane is flying at a constant velocity, the net force acting on it is 0 newtons. This means the forward thrust force must be equal and opposite to the air resistance. So the air resistance equals 8,000 newtons in the opposite direction. Albert pushes a carton of mass 20 kilograms with a force of 100 newtons. If there is a frictional force of 20 newtons acting against the motion, what is the net force on the carton? Is the carton in equilibrium? Explain. The applied force is 100 newtons in the positive direction and the friction force is 20 newtons in the negative direction. So the net force equals plus 80 newtons. The carton is not in equilibrium because the net force is not equal to zero newtons. Question 4. Ion and her family are traveling on a perfectly straight road eastward in a 1000 kilogram car that's moving at a constant speed of 30 kilometers per hour. What is the net force acting on the car? Since the car is moving at a constant velocity because of the constant speed and direction, net force equals zero newtons. The car is in dynamic equilibrium. Question 5. An elevator is moving upward at a constant velocity of 5 meters per second. Calculate the tension force on the cable supporting the elevator. If the downward gravity force acting on the elevator is 14,700 newtons. As the elevator is moving at a constant velocity, the net force acting on the elevator equals 0 newtons. The tension force and the gravity force are equal and opposite. So tension force equals 14,700 newtons upwards. And there you have it. Inertia forces static and dynamic equilibrium and how they all tie in to explain Newton's first law. Please subscribe, like and share for more fun science. Until next time, happy learning. Thank you.